Hello and welcome to tonight's homework help for Thursday night, November 1st, 2012. Uh, we're going to jump right in with homework. Uh, our homework is age problems. Okay. It, says, it says here to write and solve an equation for each of the following. Okay, I'm going to go ahead with the bottom one because I think that one's probably the most complicated. So if you can follow along with the bottom one, you should be able to do the top two. Okay, so it says here... Sarah is six years older than Maria. Paul is three times as old as Maria. The sum of their ages is 76. How old are Sarah, Maria, and Paul? Okay, so it sounds like we have three people. We've got to find three different ages. There's going to be three answers to this problem. The way we, I find the best way to solve this problem is to f find the person that has the, that is the youngest, that, uh, and then we use their age as a variable to decide how to write the other two ages. Then we combine them into an equation. So, Sarah is six years older than Maria. So it sounds like Maria is the youngest so far. Paul is three times as old as Maria. So yes, Maria is younger than both Paul and Sarah. So we'll make Maria our variable. So I'm going to go ahead and write Maria. Uh, and then we have Sarah and Paul. So I'm going to rewrite the information that's written in English here, and I'm going to write it without words down there. So Maria is the youngest, so we're going to say Maria has M years. We don't know how many it is. We're trying to figure it out. So we're going to use her name, uh, her uh, letter M, as the basis for solving this problem. Okay, uh, then, oops. Uh, and then we have, um, let's see here. Then we have Sarah, and it says that Sarah's age is uh, six years older than Maria. So six years older is adding or subtracting. Year, six years older would be uh, adding. Younger would be subtracting. So we're gonna say that Sarah is six years older than Maria, or six more years than Maria. Uh, Paul is three times as old as Maria, so that even tells us time. So Paul is three times as old as Maria, okay? Uh, and then it says uh, here that the sum, so, uh, sorry, so I've done Sarah's six years older than Maria, and I've done Paul is three times as old as Maria, okay? So I'm, I've already deciphered a good part of this problem. Now it says the sum of their ages is 76. Sum means to add. So if I add Maria's age plus Sarah's age plus Paul's age, it says they equal 76. So now I'm going to do that with the numbers. The sum of their ages is 76. So I'm going to add Maria's age to Sarah's age and add that to Paul's age. And we say that equals 76. Now I have my equation here. I'm going to simplify it a bit. Um, I have... Um, uh, let's use a different color here. I have an M term here. I have a plus M here. Uh, and I have a plus 3M here. The other one that I have is a uh, plus, plus 6. And that one, um, that won't combine with the red circle. So the green circle won't combine with the red circles. So uh, I'm going to combine the red circles. So I have an M plus another M should be 2M, and then that's plus 3M, uh, so that's 2M plus 3M is 5M. So I'm going to write that out front, 5M plus the green 6, and I've taken care of everything on that left-hand side of the equation, and I bring down my equals 76 on the right. Now, here I have a two-step equation. All I have to do is solve for my variable m. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. And we do this by design. We do this on purpose so that plus 6 and minus 6 become 0. Well, 5m plus 0 leaves me with 5m on this side, which is equal to 76 minus 6 is 70. Okay. Uh, I still don't have my variable m alone. It's attached to the 5 by multiplication. So we need to then do the inverse operation, which is to divide by that same number five. 
Again, we do this by design, we do it on purpose. Five divided by five gives us one. We know it's gonna give us one. And then one times m will give us m all alone, which is Maria's age. 70 divided by five should be 14. Okay, so then we get Maria's age. So then I'm gonna write Maria's age is 14. Uh, Sarah's age is six more than Maria's. So that's 14 plus six is 20. And uh, Paul's age is three times Maria's, so that's 42, okay? And I can even check. If I add uh, 14 plus 20, I get 34, and 34 plus 42 makes 76, so that checks out. Excellent. Uh, the other two problems above are done in exactly the same way. They should be a little easier as they only involve two people. Um, and, or actually, this one involves three people too, but uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to call Mr. Schlepper or myself. Let's take a look at the back side now. Okay, here we are on the back side, fruit for health, okay? Um, we have fruit for health, uh, we have uh, how much money we have here, um, and it translates to dollars, a, a dollar, one half dollars, fifty cents, so on and so forth. Um, Jacob buys fruit for his lunch every day. Here's the cafeteria's price list. Bananas, 30 cents. Oranges, 45 cents. A plum is 20 cents. An apple is 38 cents. Kiwi fruit, 75, 25 cents, sorry. On Wednesday, Jacob wants to buy some plums. How many can he buy for a dollar? So here you have to figure out how many 20 cent plums can you buy with one dollar. You're gonna show your work down here and write your answer over here. Also note that uh, this actually should be question one, this should be question two, and this should be question three. So sorry about that. I forgot to change those before I put them on here. Those are the, the questions. That's actually the way the questions should be numbered. Uh, that's Mr. T's fault. Okay, uh, on Thursday, Jacob had one quarter, one dime, and two nickels. Uh, did he have enough money to buy an orange? So uh, in this area, you're going to add up the, the total for a quarter, a dime, and two nickels. You're going to show what your total is and then you're gonna compare that to the price of an orange, okay? And you'll show right here, uh, you'll show your work there, okay? Number three, it says on Friday, uh, Jacob bought three bananas. He paid with one dollar. How much change did he get? So look at how much the bananas cost, multiply that by three, then you'll subtract that total from the one dollar that he paid with. That'll tell you how much change he got. Show how you figured this out here. Put your answer there. Okay, if you have any other questions, call Mr. Supper or myself or text us. Uh, good night, good luck, go Bears! Rawr!